Children's Oasis International and Love Serving Autism are two very different charities, but they share a specific passion on the tennis court. As Anna Logan reports, the two have come together to enable today's youth in a monumental way. It's what everybody's talking about. It's the skinny. Children's Oasis International is teaming up with Love Serving Autism to give kids a memory they will never forget. Oasis is sending three LSA participants to New York to experience the U.S. Open. But that's not all. The two nonprofits are working together to bring Love Serving Autism to Jamaica, where resources for this type of program are unheard of. In Jamaica, this stuff don't really happen. You have kids out there that look at kids with autism in a different way. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to bring this kind of foundation to Jamaica. When I first heard that Jamaica doesn't have a lot of programs for children and adults with autism, it really broke my heart and I realized that this is our chance to bring tennis to them and to really make an impact in their lives. Children's Oasis has given more than 25,000 kids the resources to succeed in life, going overseas once a year to bring kids in Jamaica school supplies and backpacks, a donation that started after a heartbreaking encounter. We was um, on vacation, we seen a little boy erasing a composition book. So I asked him what was his, why was he doing it. He just said, you know, I have to do it to use it again next week, next year, the following year. First year was 50, after that 100 and then Right now, we're serving over uh, close to 25,000 kids a year. Whether it's donating backpacks or teaching kids on the court, the two nonprofits aim to support and uplift today's youth. When we come together and do things, it just makes the mission so much easier. And that's the skinny. Oh, they're doing a great thing. Can you imagine these kids are racing their, their notepads and their papers just oh, so they pretty can cool. start fresh? Yeah, so that's that something we take yeah. for granted. All right, thanks, John.